Uh, Alzheimer's people have uh, some characteristics that are almost universal too. They'll ask you the same question time after time uh, early on, like, uh, what day is this? And, and, and you say, well, it's Monday. And then you walk around the corner and you're in the next room and say, what day is this? You just got to accept the fact that they're not trying to aggravate you or anything. They just don't know. They just ask you, see. And so you just answer them like you're telling them for the first time. And, and that was one of the nice things about being in the study. I knew how to respond to this sort of thing. Mom got Alzheimer's in uh, 06. So it was 22 years later. I'd been in the study 22 years. So I knew about Alzheimer's. I knew about uh, the way people acted and so forth. I knew all about that. And so when mom started having uh, tendencies for memory loss, and she asked me the, the, what day it was a couple of times in a row, then I just knew that that was the situation. Then we went to a reunion in 205 with the uh, 65ers. And that was when I first knew mom had a memory problem because we're doing our standard thing <laughs> We'd usually go to the reunions. A lot of times we'd separate. I'd go talk to the guys and ask them all kinds of questions. Mom would go talk to the gals and ask them all kinds of questions. Then when we go back to the room, we're just between events. I'd ask her about who she talked to and what they said. And I made a lot of notes. Well, Mom, that particular reunion, when we got back to the hotel, and I'd ask her questions. She, she couldn't remember who she talked to, and in many cases, she couldn't remember what they talked about. So I, that's when I came back, and get, had an official exam, and they declared that she had onset Alzheimer's. 